I really can't wait for the time when this runway will be complete and the airport infrastructure in place. Because then, guys, do you know what that means? It means they are in a jumbo jet. Yeah, the notable airline companies would begin landing here, at least the national air airlines, yeah. Uh, it would be great, yeah. It would be great because then, uh, you see right now, we have to travel all the way to Kakamega if you want to fly, yeah. Or Kisumu even, or Eldoret. So, to me, I, I, I think this is just the next right step forward for our county. Hi, guys. Yeah, so Leonie me waleta to something new. Hi guys, I'm saying today I've brought you to something new. I know that on my channel we talk about construction for uh, houses and uh, buildings, interior design. Uh, by the way, this is Douglas uh, Wanchala uh, from Life with the Wanchalas. Thank you for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, welcome so much. This is Life with the Wanchalas. So I am out and about today and I'm bringing you to something uh, interesting. Uh, as you can see that says Matulo Airstrip okay so for guys who are from Western Kenya if you are from Kenya you know that uh, we had uh, an airstrip within Bungoma County uh, around township area in a place called uh, Kiwanjadege so guys recently you understand that uh, the state lodge was built around that area and uh, for that reason the airstrip was transferred to another place of, of course now called Matulo. So I've just come to like a uh, tour We have a look at what it looks like right now. Matulo is just about uh, three kilometers away from Webuye, okay? So and this is what we have so far eh? So I see chippings were added to the road uh, But I know and I'm aware that they are plans to expand it it's been a while since the president toured this area and promised that it would be expanded so I'm just passing by to see if there are any changes okay so here it is I see some fencing is taking place yeah you see fencing they are preparing to fence all right but there isn't anything much apparently other than uh, the tarmac plus the runway okay but you can see that they're getting ready to to actually to, to fence it yeah to fence it and as you can see over there it, it's huge actually if I compare it to what we had in Kiwanjandege of Bungoma, it is huger, okay? So this is much huger. And uh, here is the taxiway. Here is the taxiway. This is the taxiway. Guys, as you might know, uh, the, the plans are to actually build a, a terminal okay so let us just check it out all right i don't have a drone so let's see what kinds of shots you can be able to get mm -hmm. right so guys come with me come with me let's have a look yeah so this is the taxiway this is the taxiway, so if you had uh, the small plane, eh, this is where you will board, then it will taxi to the main runway. So that tarmac road is the main runway, yeah. but this entire region is the taxiway. Okay. So here is the taxiway, let me just walk you around to, to see the magnitude, but it looks huge. The runway goes all the way down okay and guys you see that fencing is almost taking place there were even rumors that uh, some of the people who have residentials around here will be bought out in a bid to expand 
the, the facility. So I don't know when that will take place, but if it takes place, the better. So what does that tell you? It tells you that uh, somewhat they were serious. They were serious about it. So just imagine if you guys went there, imagine uh, if this grows into a, a, a notable airport within Kenya. Hmm? Just flying all the way from uh, Mombasa to Bungoma and vice versa. Uh, I don't know how much land they can acquire from the villagers here. Because if they can acquire much land, more land, so we're on the main runway. This is the main runway, okay? This is the main runway. Uko, where you can see the the, the pillars, yeah, the towers for connectivity up there. That is uh, that is the Webuya town, eh? Up there. But guys, this is the main runway. I don't know how many kilometers long it is, but it uh, looks quite something. By the way, if I compare this to what we had in the other side of uh, Kiwanjandege, yeah, Kiwanjandege is a Swahili word, say Kiwanja is a field and Ndege is a plain. So Kiwanjandege is really the airstrip, okay? <laughs> yeah, so the field of planes, so loosely translated as that, but actually it means uh, the airstrip or the airfield great yeah so guys this is the match that has been done the airstrip around here so far it's only the the, the fencing that is taking place and uh, i can't wait i can't wait to see a serious situation where we have a terminal here where i can just check in then get to fly to any destination of choice around kenya where there are airstrips or um, an airport yeah it will, it will just be fantastic and another level putting our county on the map yeah so mr president hey thank you thank you for that by the way so one of the positives that have come with the government uh for our counties number one uh now in bungoma county we have the passport the passport uh immigration office so you can process and and handle all your passport issues right from here in bungoma and now to add on top of that this airstrip I think if it is executed and then we finally get to have um to finally have the, the 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 feel of really having a terminal you know an airport setup it will really 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 be great okay and it is huge I I don't know whether I'm able to walk uh, all this okay let me let me uh, let me just try but it is so huge eh I want to see where the the, the limits of the plane for taking off uh, yeah but uh, uh i think i should use the car because i've told you that runway is quite a stretch yeah so that is just the tarmac road that brings us in from the main highway there the malaba uh, eldoret highway uh it is pretty close uh, about 100 meters then you have arrived yeah so guys i'm back in the car and uh, as I was telling you, this is the taxiway. This, all of this, is the taxiway, and you can see it's quite huge. Yeah, this is the taxiway. So we only don't have the terminal. <laughs> yeah. So that is what we are waiting for, and the and the control tower. Okay. Yeah, guys, those are the things that are pending. But I know our government is working towards something. Eh? Uh, the government is working towards something all right yeah so this is the taxiway and now this is the runway we are getting to the runway and allow me do this eh? allow me go all that far then come driving this way so that we can see how far or how huge the the, the runway is by the guys for, for guys who know uh, the size of an airstrip or an airport is based off the length of the runway eh? the main runway how long is it meaning what type of plane can it allow to land and to take off from there okay yeah so guys today i'm just taking you through a different type of infrastructure yeah but basically this is the runway eh? <laughs> i feared walking <laughs> so I decided to just like uh, yeah 
so here it is so let me let me like uh, kind of and guys it's so bad of me because i don't have a drone okay if i had a drone i'd have lifted you up to like uh, show you the, the the progress okay yeah <sighs> right yeah but uh i am proud that this is my remote home yeah so this is the beginning of the runway or the end is it the beginning or the end yeah this should be the the beginning yeah this should be the beginning i think yeah where planes come and land in uh, if you work in aviation or you work in uh, airport infrastructure what does 25 mean yeah what does 25 mean on the runway yeah so this is it so i'm going to drive all the way from that end to that end we see how long it is but guys it's beautiful i know that uh, it's never perfect that said and done this is the runway Seven. Seven. So I think planes can land at Guys of aviation, please tell us what happens. Yeah, what happens? <laughs> I have been in planes and I land, but I don't know where we actually. Okay, it starts maybe running from here. It taxis then starts running, so then picks from up there eh? it it now picks the elevation to uh, go up eh? yeah it starts running from here then picks from up there because this is seven and 25 is up there so guys what do you think the guys in aviation especially now this is your specialty all right but pretty much you see the fencing that i was talking about is being done so it will soon be a controlled development and we will not have this privilege and uh, and access that we now have right now you see i'm just shooting right now you see lovebirds have turned this place into a place to have fun and enjoy yeah so they are having an afternoon walk together so pretty much i wanted to just bring you that up to speed with uh, what is happening in my hometown and my, my home county of Bungoma, okay? So guys are living here, but, but I think if the government is serious as it was saying, they might be relocated very soon. Okay. Yeah, they might be relocated very soon to pave way for an even bigger airstrip. Yeah. But it is just nice to to to, to even know that because uh, if 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 you have been to Bungoma, you know how Kiwanjandege was tiny, all right. So this is a major improvement, a major one, extremely, extremely, yeah. So what do you think, guys? Leave a comment down there. Uh, tell us what you think. Uh, by the way, what progress is being done in your county by the government? And I'm not trying to be political. All right, for me, I'm just caring about it because it's a nice thing to have in your county. Yeah, who who does not want to not travel all the way, yeah, to Kakamega or to Kisumu or to Kitale or another town, Eldoret, to be able to catch a flight to Mombasa or Nairobi? Because for me, I remember there's a time I had to miss a flight, and yeah, so I lost the money because I had to drive too far and that time I was using public means so I was late for the plane and uh, I lost the money so guys tell me what do you think about that project all right <laughs> what do you think so thank you guys so much for coming to this tour with me 
uh, for now it's a bye from me please i've been your host wanjala here thank you so much for your support uh, do let me know what you'd like for me to cover next whether a construction project or an infrastructural project like this one i'll see you in the next video and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to this channel uh, hit the bell so that you never miss an episode all right bye